Avril Levine. It's an honor. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to meet you. It's wonderful to meet you too. My name's Alex Waters. I'm coming to you from Virginia Beach today at Hot 100. And where in the world are you? I am here on Zoom in Malibu, California. Wonderful. That's where you've been staying a lot lately, right? You've got uh, you've got Canadian roots, but I'm guessing the weather's better in Malibu. Yeah, I'm from Canada. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I was just there um, visiting my family over the holidays. There's so much snow. And I actually love the cold and the snow. But um, I came back to to Malibu and I was like it's like full-on summer like there's it's like there was a windstorm the other day but like full-on summer like I was like outside it was hot I was like so I FaceTimed my mom and I was like you have to see this this is crazy she was like I'm so jealous <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like that's the too. point of the call <laughs> right right yeah the point is I'm to rubbing it into you your jealous. face <laughs> <laughs> actually I always do that <laughs> Not in a mean way, in a funny way, but I'm like, of course, of course, here, mom. <laughs> yeah. Well, we've still got snow on the ground here, so consider me jealous as well. <laughs> I want to ask you a big question here at the start because I want to get the biggest one out of the way, and that is, you've been in the music industry for 20 years, still rocking hard, still doing your thing. Tell me one thing that you still do the same, maybe from a songwriting or an artistry perspective from all the way two decades ago, and one thing that you do very differently. Well, that's easy. The thing that I do the same, my eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> True. My black eyeliner, the smoky black eye look. Um, and what do I do differently? everything i don't know <laughs> i think i'm different overall i've grown a lot i don't know um i don't know i feel like just like in general with my songwriting like i started like i i've i've like i've grown a lot i've lived a lot gone through different experiences and, and so like my songs come from like different places like in that sense versus like compared to like my first album I wrote when I was like fresh out of high school. There's a lot of people that I see when they talk about you and your new music now, they go, she looks exactly the same. What's her secret? And I was just thinking about that for a second. I was like, you're 37. There's no secret. This is, this is how people look. So <laughs> it's not a matter of, wow, she's still going way past any point where people thought she might give up I mean it's not like that at all you're still very much in your prime and your new music sounds just as good if not better than some of your classics do you have any idea if you're planning at some point to transition out of music are you staying with this for the rest of your life have you thought about that at all no bitch I'm here to rock <laughs> I'm, I'm just like I've loved music my whole life um I started playing guitar when I was like 14 and writing songs and I was like 14, maybe even younger. I, I jumped up on stage when I was five, six, seven years old. I've just always loved music. Um, I've written every single song on all of my albums. Songwriting's really important to me. And um, sometimes I write songs for other artists. And this is my seventh record, Love Sucks. Um, mm -hmm. This is this year marks the 20th anniversary since my first album. And um, I'm having more fun than ever. Like this whole record is like it's super upbeat um and it's like you know it's like rocking from front to end and i kind of wrote like this album like it's like the vibe of my live shows we kind of like wrote these songs for like that and i'm going on tour this year and uh the album comes out end of february and uh no this is just who i am i love music and i'm you know i'm here today still doing this not because like i have to but because i love it and like during the pandemic, I had so much time to like get together and like do some writing with like the people that I worked on this album with and it makes me really happy and it's what I love. That's really good. And I have like it other stuff in my life that I love. Like I have a clothing line called Abidon. Um, I love to cook. I love to paint. Um, and I love to go back home to Canada and visit my family and play in the snow. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah, you stay very busy. You do a lot of different things. 
And it's good to see you branch out into different territory and make sure that you're having as much fun in all kinds of different places. So now let's talk about this album you've got coming up, because if I'm counting correctly, that'll be your seventh studio album, right? Yes. Yeah. So seven albums in, what type of fan is going to appreciate what you've got coming up in about a month from now? Is it going to be your OG fans from all the way back in the day? Is it going to be people who have checked you out more recently who are going to like this stuff? Tell me, like, who's going to love this? Yeah, I definitely think so, because, like, the album's really fun and, like, rock and roll. And I think that this is probably, like, the fans have been, like, waiting for this. Um, I feel like this is a record I probably wanted to make for a long time, too. And, um, like, again, it's just, like, this is the vibe of, like, my live shows. So I definitely can just, like, see, like, the fans that, like, love going to live shows and have been with me for years, for sure, my OGs. And um, also, like, um, it's been great because I have a lot of features on this album. And I've just recently worked with some other artists, um, like Machine Gun Kelly. And I have a song on my new record. Uh, my new single, Love It When You Hate Me, featuring Black Bear. Um, that's on this album, working with Black Bear, Mark Hoppus, Travis Barker. Um, and then I also did a song with Willow Smith for her record. And it's so, you know, um, it's cool working with like, younger artists like Willow. And, um, you know, um, and like me working with Blink, like I listened to them in high school and just like different genres and stuff and everybody getting together collaborating. So I think there's, you know, I've been making music for so long, um, the, the albums for old and new fans. Okay, I'm looking forward to hearing it when it drops. Uh, another thing that I noticed while I was kind of looking up some stuff is that you've got a lot of tattoos, a lot of ink. What's your latest piece and what's the story behind it? Um, let's see. Well, I don't know. Kind of like my late, I don't know. I think that it is, <laughs> um, it's like microphone. Um, my first uh, tattoo is the Skater Boy Star, and that's on my wrist. And all my tattoos were kind of random. And then my tattoo artist kind of like, we put some roses and like um, blended it all together in a microphone with some music notes. Cool. So, you know, it all goes back to the music, it, the new <laughs> microphone and everything else that you've got going on. It really is all about the music. That's the music notes. I have a large cupcake on my uh, forearm because I love cupcakes and just a bunch of stars and stuff. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Very cool. I have the well, word since... fuck tattooed on me twice. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite word. It's on my ribcage. So, sometimes once is not enough sometimes and you then, have to uh, oh my god actually i have it three times i have fuck three. you on my middle finger <laughs> and then on this hand i have motherfucking princess and then just straight up fuck on the rib cages okay. on the rib cage <laughs> okay okay i was watching one of your previous interviews as you talked about how you got burnt out and turned that into a love sucks song and then love sucks kind of became the idea behind your entire record with valentine's day on the way i don't know if i should be asking for romantic advice from somebody who says love sucks but you got any words of wisdom maybe for fans uh with valentine's day coming up yeah yeah i love yeah. valentine's day um <laughs> even though love sucks it's fun. Yeah. I mean, okay, so I wrote this album. It's called Love Sucks. I titled it because when I went into the album, I had just like kind of gone through a very like intense breakup and I was feeling like over it and I needed a break from love. And so I wrote a song called Love Sucks. And I'm actually in a really great place in my life. And the song, the, the album is like, I tapped into that and sort of like my ups and downs in love and like kind of like my story and what I've been through and my experiences, but it's really kind of like poking fun at it in a way too. 
Um, there's an empowering message. It's like, you know, having self-worth, standing up for yourself, not letting someone walk all over you. And like, that's sort of been like a theme with my music, I think throughout all of the years. And, um, you know, and love sucks is just how I felt when I, when I started this album and it's like, love's hard. It's a lot of work. There's ups and downs. And, um, but at the end of the day, um, you know, like I'd, I'd rather, you know, give it a chance, of course. And I love love and I'm in a relationship right now. And, um, and yeah, but I was able to like tap into that and those feelings and make it into an album. And that's the beauty of music and songwriting. Thanks for taking 15 minutes for me. I really appreciate it, Avril. And uh, we're playing the new song with Black Bear, Love When You Hate Me, on Hot 100. So hoping to do that a little bit more as time goes on. We'll keep an ear out for the new album on the way as well. And everything else that you're working on, because you're staying pretty busy, aren't you? Yes, I am. Yes, the first thing was Bite Me. And then now we have Love It When You Hate Me featuring Black Bear. And the album um, Love Sucks is out February 25th. And I'm going on tour this year. Um, and stoked on this new album and all the dope features. And thank you so much for having me today and, and for your support. Thank you so much. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too.